A very warm welcome to the Art Vlog Art Lovers with me, George Dopamine. I'm here today at Hastings Contemporary to explore two shows, and the second of those is works by Nenge Amuku called The Dance of People and the Natural World, which is also on until the 3rd of March. I don't know much about Amuku's work at all, but I'm really excited to explore this exhibition, which brings together over 90% of her landscapes here at the wonderful Hastings Contemporary. lovers i hope you enjoyed that exploration of nenge amuka's work from hastings contemporary i should say first of all that there was a great video in the in the sort of area just before the exhibition where amuka explained the context of her work and that's happily available on the currently available on the hastings contemporary website so i'm going to post a link in the comments below do have a look for that um 
I was excited by Anangea Muku's work. Um, if there was one word that 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 came out of it, it was fusion. Um, because in lots of ways, these were deeply Nigerian works. The material she she was painting on is is called soyon, a mixture of of um, silk and cotton that is used to create an ashoke fabric um, used by the Yoruba people in Western Nigeria. And I'd never seen art produced on this. And it harks back to a time of of pre colonial colonial Nigerian um, craftsmanship um, and and so and that was really interesting and the the, the, the um, paintings as you saw in the walkthrough were deliberately um, placed away from the wall so that you could um, explore the beauty of the Soyon material which themselves are works of art yet at the same time Amuku who trained at the Slade and got a BA and Masters in London also uses oils which obviously hark back to a more Western European tradition of painting and indeed in the video I mentioned she expresses her love for Monet's water lilies so there's this fusion between between deeply Nigerian work but also you can see the influence of Western art in Amuku's work and, and, and that's obviously come through her training at the Slade and I thoroughly enjoyed that. The works themselves were very interesting. They were landscapes but they also included um, these kind of rather ether ethereal figures um, who, who were kind of almost like otherworldly. And Amuku's mother trained as a horticulturist and florist and so there's this massive influence of looking at both imagined and real plants and vegetation in these works which create a very unique and distinctive landscape here landscape a series of landscape paintings apparently as I said in the introduction 90% of her landscapes were on show in Hastings and I found them really beautiful I thought that the colours themselves the muted kind of pastels were very feminine as were the paintings themselves and I think they contrasted incredibly well with the much more masculine linear paintings of Hervin Anderson downstairs his salon paintings do check out that vlog if you haven't already so Amuku is a really exciting artist coming out of that West African um, school um, which and, and you know I've always said and will keep saying that at the moment um, if London was that was the center of the art scene in the late 80s and 90s producing some of the most exciting work in the world today that honor is bequeathed on, um, on on West Africa not just Lagos and Nigeria but stretching across to Ghana and beyond as well and um, Amuka is a big part of that. Um, these works are unique. I would love to own a small, small version in my house, maybe like hanging behind me, um, because they, if I could afford it, which I clearly can't, um, and um, that because they're so beautiful. So yeah, an exciting talent to watch. Somebody I'll certainly be returning to, and let's hope that she shows in the UK again soon. Don't forget, please, to subscribe if you love art to the art vlog. Um, February, which is obviously coming up, is this incredible month of openings in London. We're going to be very, very busy covering lots and lots of shows in diverse ranges. Most importantly of all, wherever you live, don't, get out, don't forget to get out there and explore your local art scene.